Hey what's up guys this is Bullet and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to edit an effect I used in Evans Weekly Judgment in episode 1 and you just saw how uh, the final product will look so let's get right into this so I got the clips by m at my project media and I wanna drag them in the composition of course and these are cinematics and this is uh, these are the clips and I actually know clip starts over here so let's just um, like a like cut the clip a little because we don't want unnecessary uh, stuff in there and this is the cinematic we're gonna use uh, you see the guy running and he actually gets shots and that's like the guy who gets no scoped somewhere around there so alright so I didn't make this uh, cinematic myself I haven't actually did it and what you what you'll notice is the the kill feed is here and we got the menu chase and score here and that's actually like uh, the main problems of this uh, cinematic because you don't want the 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 kill feed and these buttons to be in your cinematic because it'll you know it, it won't look nice so first off we're gonna cut the audio you want to press U for that and it will uh, take like you can, yeah kind of cut the audio from the video and then you can just delete it and just drag it to the beginning just so it is a little closer so we got our cinematic here and what we want to do is we want to pan crop this and um, oh and you want to take it down a little and then you want to make it as large as possible and you'll notice later on why um, so th this looks just fine. Let me just see if the oh, where is it? If the kill feed won't show up, yeah, it does. So I want to make this a little smaller. Drag a little up, maybe a little to the right. All right, I'll I'll leave it like this so he's perfectly centered. All right, so we got our cinematic here of him falling down. Actually, only want to use this part where he actually gets shots and gets shot and drops so I wanna press S so it splits and then delete this it's just easier alright so we got this and we'll just leave that for now and we got this part of course so the shot is here you can see the audio I wanna press U so I can split the audio from the video and just let me listen here because I believe you can't hear my sound so it should around here I guess yeah um, so I want to drag this here. Just made it make like a little fade in, fade out effect here. I'm not gonna talk too much about that. So I want to insert a new video track, and I want cinematic to be up here. And then I just want to want to drag these two clips to the beginning. So we want our cinematic to be um, at the point where I actually get shot. And what you could do is you can take down your paste here. And uh, no wait, on that's the wrong. You can take down your pasty here. Now you'll see it like it's it's a way to do th things, you know. But it's not the way I'm gonna use. But first off, I wanna add an, uh, a color effect just to make it look a little bit better. So I'm go to my video effects. I'm actually using the new blue uh, film look, and then I, I wanna select the diffusion. Uh, I'm just gonna use a prefix because uh, I don't wanna waste too many time too much time on this. So as you can see it just makes the glow a bit better and in my opinion it, it looks nicer on some clips so now that we're here we wanna uh, make the compositing mode we wanna select add and what this will do is as you can see here it will kinda overlay it and we gotta mess around with these settings of course and uh, what I'm gonna do now I know there's like uh, ways you can do, do this uh, easier without having to cut uh, the footage but I just wanna keep the same so I'm gonna cut my footage here there we go and I wanna drag down your pasty a little till till you guys like well visible without uh, like losing the the M4 and everything you know but alright it, it, it just looks okay for now we'll, we'll come back to this later so we got our animation in here and I wanna give it a little slow motion to make to make it a little more dramatic effect you know just looks nicer in my opinion. I want to have it fade out here. So actually control Z to to do like this over. I want to drag this out first, fade it. 
and then select here and take down your pasty. Right, it, it looks alright. I'm not gonna go too much into it. So I want to press the track motion here, and you'll notice you have a time bar here. So please keep in mind that when you're gonna use multiple um, like of these uh, these these actions in a uh, single project, you wanna how do you say like you wanna make sure it resets after your animation because otherwise you'll see stuff moving and you don't want that to happen. You'll find it out once you start playing with it. So I wanna drag it a little more to the right and I instantly notice I wanna take this I wanna wait. Yeah I wanna take this down a little bit more for now. So we can let's let's just take it down all the way so we can have a nice view of our cinematics gonna look so I want him to be placed on the right here, and what you'll instantly notice is like the black uh, area around, and it will look like this white in uh, the video. So what I want to do, I actually want to make it bigger. You could also use cookie cutter and then add a feather to it. It's a way of doing things, but I just I think this actually looks nice because uh, you no, know, it's nice to see uh, like a really big person drop down like that. I think it looks alright. So I'm just gonna leave it uh, with that and I wanna add a color curves to the cinematic and just make it a little uh, lighter so it will it will just be a bit easier visible and it will give more of a like this where you can actually see what's happening, you know? So like that and then I wanna it's gonna fade up. I think it looks pretty nice. So that's mainly it for this tutorial. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a quick render here. Uh, hold Shift and press B for this, and it's rendering here. I can close the color curves. All right. So I want to play, and let's just see how things look. All right. Well, it looked all right. Of course, you can like uh, slow motion fade in and all, all kinds of crazy stuff, but. Uh, you get the point and that's what this tutorial is about. Perfection uh, always takes a little longer than just uh, doing three things. And by the way, I just noticed I gotta take this down just a tiny little bit. Uh, wait, no, I already know what the problem is, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that, that's mainly it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please leave a thumbs up for the video if you, if you like, really enjoyed it. Uh, it helps me out and if you want to see uh, more videos and want to keep on track with me, then uh, please go ahead and subscribe. But I'm not going to beg you for it, it's your choice. So um, that's mainly it. Uh, this has been Bullet, and I'm out. Bye, guys.